So my name's Oliver Saul. I've uh, had an idea for a while to uh, get a bunch of bands onto a CD and call it a compilation, a metal compilation. Um, I think the reason why I actually even thought I could pull this off is because when I own a recording studio, which I call Nextdoor Studio, and so last year I uh, MySpace and emailed people that were in bands to uh, come over to my studio. I said, hey, for you know, for free, I'll come and record you, get one song, as long as you understand that this is about going on to a, a project. This uh, first metal compilation uh, had a great, uh, great amount of bands that call me up and, and come over. Um, Genicost, a very brutal death metal band. Um, been uh, been at their game for many years. Um, they definitely are probably one of the more authentic death metal bands uh, here in Tucson or in Arizona, I would say. Uh, Animus Divine, a great band, just had a, a, a lot of performing experience, and I think they really know where they're they're headed now. And so they were uh, kind enough to come and lay the track down called uh, Tightrope Burns. Um, some bands that probably uh, not all bands are a lot of people are familiar with, you know, uh, Mr. Wiley. Um, they came in at war with the Inferior. They were, they were. I think they have a lot of potential. They put down a killer track, um, Devil Left Shoulder. I, I believe they're not a band right now, but you know, well, <clears throat> that's the beautiful thing about the compilation album is it is a time capsule for the uh, local music scene. Um, I would definitely try to get bands. You know, obviously your Sarah Vistas, your Bales, maybe Phoenix, you know, and then, you know, see if it, if it's, uh, if the people like the production and the engineering on it and it comes out good, then maybe a wider uh, audience, other bands, other states, other countries, maybe. As I've been running Nextdoor Studio, I've had the basic interest for the musician. So my rates have always been very uh, competitive and uh, I always seem to want to get the best sound. Obviously every engineer is going to say that, but for a metal variety band, I, I've been able to pull a good amount of um, quality for the time. A lot of bands are very uh, limited in time, or they believe they are due to their uh, financial. So I try to allow the bands to have more time in the studio. Mainly, <clears throat> I think most bands need to understand that your mix down is the most important part. Uh, laying the tracks down doesn't take too, too long. You know, with a well-rehearsed band, the tracks don't take too long. And so in order to actually have a, a CD that you want to consider to be um, recognized, you might want to have a label behind it, which would come to the next step, um, Pitball Records. I registered my uh, name Pitball Records with a, a limited liability. Pitball Records is Pitball Records Entertainment. Pitball Records and Entertainment. Pitball Records is looking for bands to be on the next uh, metal compilation night. Uh, every Thursday, running through uh, December, I'll be booking bands, and the Pitball Records agreement will be on pitballrecords.com, and you can look over that and download the PDF. We'll be looking for metal genre bands to play there, and if the band's so inclined, um, they can get a bunch of different things. Um, a live recording of their uh, performance mixed down, um, video shots for the other performance, both the audio and video uh, edited together. And then if the bands are um, one, good enough, and two, they so desire to come into the studio, they can be on the next uh, Compilation 2 album, or CD as we should call it. If you're so inclined, call Pitball Records at 551-1611 and we will uh, give you the information over the phone. Um, yes, I look forward to uh, bands having an opp opportunity to be able to play at a club where there's good sound. Uh, bands have an opportunity to have video shot. Um, and plus, it's a really nice, really nice place. You know, I was really impressed at the uh, the amount of room that Pearl had, and for the bands, it has an amazing green room. I mean, it's just uh, its own private, you know, bathrooms, many tables, 
So I, I think um, obviously word to mouth, you know, getting a public information, you know, out there um, when I, what we're trying to do here. Um, I think it's, I think it should be known that uh, a person of reality will be out shooting the video for these events. And so, um, you know, anybody who's known Brad Phipps will know that he spends a lot of time on his videos too. So it's really a win-win situation. Um, even if the band wants to play, tickets are given to the bands to sell for, um, it's, it's the responsibility of the bands to bring in people. Um, but all the uh, details are on pitballrecords.com. I think in the future fans will really want to get on, get on to this, and uh, so this is a great opportunity for bands to be able to at least get a chance to uh, come in the studio and record one song without charge. Uh, but the criteria is, you know, you got to play the metal compilation night. So you know, play a gig, come and record. And uh, I look forward to uh, producing this next metal compilation. You know, volume two by the year 2011 March to have the next uh, 11 to 12 bands on the next compilation CD and have that mastered uh, through a great uh, mastering studio called Sound Lab and um, printing up about another 200 of those and seeing where that goes to uh, wrap it up Pitfall Records and uh, Entertainment is looking for bands to be on the next metal compilation CD um, how you go about doing this call me and book yourself on a compilation night at uh, Pearl on Thursdays. Thanks for your time, uh, and I look forward to your calls.